exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Well, it happened again today. Friday morning, there's a project going on. Uh, they need some road close signs. They're going to close the road next week, but they need them today because they need to give a week's notice. So who did they turn to? That's right, they turned to the sign man. Follow me on this exciting episode on the one hour sign journey. Okay, so this is just gonna be a temporary sign they're gonna use, so we're not gonna give them uh, a metal sign. We're gonna use that coroplast. It's like a plastic cardboard. Um, no reason to waste your good stock on a sign that's only gonna be up for a few hours. Um, well, not a few hours, it's just going to be up for like a week or so, they're going to post it up. Just to let people know, you know, there's road work going on up there, they're letting them know. But they're just letting them know there's going to be a delay for, for uh, an hour while they pour some cement. So, there's no reason to use a good amount of your stock for a sign like that. Uh, you know, put it on, take it up there, it's just, it's a waste. So, let's just use some uh, plastic corrugated cardboard. So, what I did is I, I sheeted one already, right here, ready to go. And I have my, um, it, all it says is expect one hour delays, July 16th. They're not sure about what time or, you know, they're going to be pouring cement off and on. They're already sending up some flyers to let the people know that, you know, what's, what's going on. So, you know, they're in a jam and, you know, like I said, came to the right place. We'll take care of them. I'll go ahead and weed this out. And we'll get going. Weeding is just a process we do. Um, the machine already cut out the film. This is called Black EC, and it has a plastic cover below it, and then it just use a computer program to print out what you want, or cut out what you want, I should say. And just you have to be a little careful. You know, you want to peel out the letters. You always want to, you know, watch as you're, you're going along, you know, make sure you don't pull out any letters that you don't need or that you do need. You know, some people use um, different tools. I see people use X-Acto knives, tweezers. I use these uh, points, they have a nice fine point on them. Uh, we bought a bunch of them off of uh, Amazon. Our buyer bought them for me. Then all I do is I just lift up the corners and just peel it off with my fingers. You know, like some people use tweezers and stuff that I have a tendency to, to, to meet the tweezers, meet the fingers too much, and kind of hurts when you jam something up your fingernail, so, although it's happened with these before, but anyways, we just, simply it's a matter of just pulling out your letters. I put little cut lines in there to um, make it easier to peel out. Up here, if I try to peel out the whole one hour thing up at a time, it had a little cut line in there that let it, and you just pull them out really easy. Um, a lot of times, though, if you're pulling this stuff out, you'll, if you don't put the cut lines in, you'll pull off the top of the T or something if you're not careful. So it just, you, you can go in and repair that stuff, but it slows you down. Um, you know, when you have to go back and repair something. I'd rather just, you know, take a little bit of extra time, do it right the first time. You know, we're not, uh, we're not a private shop here, we're a county shop, so, you know, I try to stay as efficient as I can. There we go. It's just gonna say expect one hour delay. And we're gonna place it on top of this. It's a reflective sheeting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put some transfer tape on top of this. Uh, I have a roll of 24 inch transfer tape. Uh, the, my sign blank is 24 high, 36 wide, so it'll fit in just perfect um, with the 24 inch transfer tape. Uh, this little handy dispenser, just roll it out. And what I usually do is bring it down and stick it on the end of the table here. And I can just What I'll do is I'll take it in the middle, in the center, and work its way out. I use this bigger squeegee to get all the, make sure I get all the air bubbles out. It's pretty good. Okay, 
once I get all the air bubbles out, I take a smaller squeegee, which allows me to put more pressure down to push out again, starting from the center, working your way out towards the end, pushing out any bubbles you have. And then do the same thing, work your way back out. Simply cut my transfer tape off here. And what I do is I'll flip it upside down and I'll just trim up the edges. And here we go. Got our transfer all ready to go. Okay, there's you know several different ways you can apply your um, transfer to whatever works for you. I usually spray mine down a little bit first with this uh, stuff called Rapid Prep. It's make sure everything's clean, and that way the vinyl is going to stick to it really nice. It removes any debris, any oils that build up. You know, try to avoid touching it with your hands. You don't get any unnecessary oils on there. And I just, I, I just eyeball it. You know, not that it's. And I got it pretty close. Make sure all the borders are straight and everything. And then what I do is I'm just going to roll mine through. It's coroplast. What I want to make sure is I have a nice flat surface for it to lay on, so I'll throw a sign blank under there. It's the same width and everything. The original blank. Make sure it's lined up. That way, when the core plast goes through, it's just not, you know, doing any weird twists in the roll or anything. It'll stay nice and flat in there. And I turn my pressure down to 20 pounds. I just flip it back. And I'll just trim off the plastic and then I just roll it out by hand and then we'll just do the other side same thing flip it over There's our expect one hour delays, July 16th. We'll take it up to them. They're gonna mount it on a post or a barricade. I don't know where they're gonna mount it. They just wanted to sign. Uh, it's something that's there's gonna be a one-time use. Um, you know, we didn't use the sign blank, so I, I'm not worried about getting it back. Yeah, the, the material cost a little bit of money. You know, you think, well, you could use something cheaper. But here at the county, um, you want to make sure it's reflective so nobody hits it at night and it's just something we, we do you know we want to put in a good quality while saving money at the same time so when that uh, it's reflective they'll see it at night and it's um, you know this sign could possibly save a lawsuit or something down the road because it's, it's it conforms to everything we need it's, it's reflective and you know it's got the border and everything so we're gonna take this out to them and like I said, when they're in the jam and they needed to sign real quick, who did they turn to? That's right, they turned to the sign man. As always, thanks for watching.